Wandering Souls by Cecile Pinn follows a young girl fleeing Vietnam after the war when there is still a lot of political tension and we follow her journey as a refugee. This is heartbreaking and I really loved it. Five stars, made me cry. Stick around if you want to see a spoiler-free review. Hello, hello, my name is Gemma. Welcome back to another video. If you are new, then you may not know. If you're an old school, you definitely know. But I have been following the Women's Prize avidly this year and I'm bringing you another review for one of the long list of books. Unfortunately, this was not shortlisted, and quite frankly, I think that is a travesty, along with Bandit Queens. And so <clears throat> I just wanted to put out a review to tell you all how much I loved it and how miffed I am, quite frankly, that it didn't make the shortlist. So as I said, we're following a young girl here, and Cecile Pin really throws us into quite a dramatic situation where this young girl is asked to take her two brothers ahead of the rest of the family to a refugee camp in Hong Kong. The rest of the family will follow afterwards. In the very first chapter, we discover that doesn't happen. While our main character makes it, the rest of her family does not. And so she is then responsible for her two brothers throughout the entirety of her life. And we see her move from Hong Kong, where she is trying to find her feet and deal with the grief of losing her family right through to when she finally is accepted as a refugee into the UK under Thatcher. So this book has a lot of relevance at the moment as many people discuss refugees, um, particularly around the Ukrainian war, but around lots of different situations uh, across all countries about Britain taking in refugees and immigrants. And there is definitely um, an animosity towards refugees, I would say, generally across the population in the UK. Um, I, that is a generalisation, obviously. I would say that I am the polar opposite of that. And I expect there are a lot of people who feel the same way. But as a whole, Britain isn't super welcoming to refugees. And what this book does is really put you in the eyes, in the hearts and the minds of these refugees and says, well, what? What exactly are you scared of? Why are you um, resisting like basic human kindness? And I think Cecile Pin does that in such a magnificent way. She really gets under the skin of this problem and I think she does it beautifully. The writing in this I thought was excellent. One of the um, things that I thought added impact to the book was periodic editions of sort of news clips of other things going on with refugees outside of our little bubble of this family. She talks about um, some horrific atrocities happening on the island of Thai, on an island in Thailand, and she also talks about the immigrants in the lorry, which I think a lot of people will remember um, if they are a similar age to me. Um, the lorry driver who was carrying immigrants in the back of his lorry. I won't say any more if you don't know the news story, but I think she drops these things in to say, "Okay, I know that you're sympathising with my." family with my story right now but there's all these other stories going on that you don't know about and where is your compassion for those at the same time this is a very short novel and I think one of the critiques is that there isn't enough time for you to really um, connect with the characters and the family and I can completely understand that as a critique I think it was the overall immigrant experience that really got to the heart of me though I did care for these characters and I was to a degree invested in them is the fact that their story is happening again and again and again multiple countries multiple families multiple people um, and I think that was what I found uh, Silpin did really really well if you haven't guessed I gave this book a big fat five stars only the second book on the long list that I have done that for but I am super excited to see, see what she comes up with next Pin is a French Vietnamese author and so she definitely has a unique perspective and has a absolutely stunning writing style. So I will definitely be looking out for where she goes next. If you are interested in seeing the review for my other five star from this year's Women's Prize long list, that is Demon Copperhead. I will leave the review here and I will see you very soon with another one. Bye guys.